Oh, are we going? Did he do it? Yeah, I did. I think I did it. Oh. What? Yay! It's gonna be like, bam! This only works for some numbers. I hope not. No, got it. Let's see how unoptimized it was. I know, right? Oh. Oh man. Ooh. That's bad. Multiplic. Oh, good. Yeah, multiplication. Hello, zero. Oh, he's back. Why are you here now? Oh, those are super, super helpful. The, uh, the space labels. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Also, here is a piece of advice for this game. Hmm. If it gives you a zero in a spot, that's usually important. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And so... so don't like overwrite that zero or anything, because you'll probably need it every loop. <laughs> so for each two things in the inbox, multiply them and outbox the uh, result. Don't worry about negatives for now. Okay. So let's see. What's how does multiplication work? You just add it as many times as the other number. Yep. That's how you multiply an assembly. So... You get to do division later with remainders. Uh, ew, ew, why, ew, <laughs> no. <laughs> so wait, how do I even... If I don't know what a number is, how do I... Uh, wait. Colin, look at your tools. No, I got it, I got it, I understand. Oh, I'm not gonna like this at all. <laughs> I'm gonna like this. Here, I'll just run it as is. That's probably correct. <laughs> Forever! Are you creating matter? <laughs> Grey Goo. There's a game now. Huh? There's, there's a game called Grey Goo. Yeah, it's like an RTS, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Did you know that a Kindle with uh, full memory weighs slightly more? Really? Than an empty Kindle. Interesting. Like an almost immeasurable amount more. But it makes sense. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so inbox. That's like mind blowing though. Yeah, well, because- That we all of the stuff you put on like wirelessly onto your Kindle actually weighs something. It has to weigh something, atomically speaking. <laughs> nothing weighs nothing. I know, but it's digital and you don't think about that. Yeah, oh yeah. You don't think about digital things as having weight. Like, if you're downloading it to something to a PS4 and it's making it heavier. And then... So we don't want to outbox it yet. We want to... Uh... Uh... So, oh gosh, oh, I, I know what I have to do, I think, but I don't like, I don't like this, because now I'm going to feel- What's wrong? Uh, so, um, if, all right, because the idea is that you use bump to, t to count down whatever number you're multiplying by, right? You could do that. So inbox, so I'd grab the six, copy it to zero, and then inbox, grab the five, and then we'll go ahead and copy it to one, and then I have to... So that would already be... Oh, wait. So then I would... Can I just do it iteratively? Why wouldn't you be able to? Or, I mean, without without go tos, can I just do it all out by hand for those exact inputs? Do you think? No. The, do you think the game it, would be mad at me if I did yeah, that? Yeah, it already has gotten mad at you for doing that. Yeah, a little bit. So, also, you can't see all the inputs, and they change randomly every time. All right. So, but how do I? What do you want to do? I want to put it on the space. Just click on a space. Oh. So... And you can't type, you gotta draw it. Oh. 
this. What do you? You don't have room for whatever you're trying to type. Times this. I don't think that's a really good labeling, Colin. No, it's perfect. Because then what you see in your code is this X and this. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember the, the names of like the things in a multiplication statement, you know? I, I just do X and Y and... That's probably... That's probably... And smart. I... If it's an iterator, I use I and J and occasionally K. You probably saw my my uh, selection sort one had like three different iterators. Oh geez, did it? I wasn't parsing that. I guess uh, it had um, it had I, which was the total set. So like that would increment up as you went through the whole set to limit off the one in the back. Uh, J, which was the current loop through the set, and then K, which was the index of <laughs> the smallest number of that set. Nice. You should explain all of a selection sort Well, I think. Selection sorts, it's really easy. <laughs> it's just... Explain all of the sorts you know right now. I can't explain any of them. What's the big O of selection sort? Not great. <laughs> all right, hold Okay, I have, to, I have to think this. Okay, so I want to put the number in X. I'm going to put the first number in X. And put the second number in Y. So I'll have that. And then I guess I'll immediately bump X, cause and then copy from from. Okay, so copy from you, and then add you to to you, and then copy that to third space, which I will call. Like result or something. Z, Z, Z. Z. Are you Canadian? Yes. I changed it last night. I decided. Um, oh, you converted? Yeah. X Y Z. You know, be be a reasonable person. Um, <laughs> so and yeah, so I'll copy that. The result set to Z, and then I need to repeat the process of bumping X. Until x is zero, and that's the thing. So if it's zero, then we're done. So we actually want to put, we want to go to here, where we'll copy to, cop, no, copy from the result and toss it in the out box. And there needs to be some jumping that I'm not doing right now. First, <laughs> yes, yes, there does. Um, all right, so let's jump. Herp. Um, if it's jump if zero, yada yada yada. So, so when I copy from y, add y. Uh, one of your copy froms is wrong. Hmm. Um, you're copying from y and then adding y. So your result will always be just y times two. But then I'm copying it to 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 to. Yes, but see, you're copying from y and then adding to y and then copying that to z and then copying from y again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I see what you're saying. So. You want to keep adding to the result instead of just adding to. Yeah. Like, because the I first you're one, saying. you're just going to keep adding the 6 to 6 over and over again, and your result will be 12 no matter what the other number is. Uh, I see what you're saying. So, copy to Y, copy to Z, and then the bump will be our, our loop. So. Let's try that out. Alright, six. Five. Five. So. You're still copying from Y. Oh shit. No. <laughs> it's not ten. You want to copy from Z. 
Oh yeah, why am I? Damn it! All right, so there we go. Let him do his little dance. Oh gosh. What's happening? I no, I got. I, I'm just nervous now. <laughs> I actually not enough stuff in the. Oh well, obviously. <laughs> well, obviously. Actually, never mind. You, you you got it. You got this. Cool. So let's do that whole process over and call. I do think there is one edge case you have not considered. Is it zero? It, it might be zero. It's probably zero. I think it's going to tell you that there are cases you'll fail. It, well, there's one you failed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's trapped in infinity. Yes, yes it is. Oh no. Oops. How did that happen? So wait, how did that happen? How is that even possible? How did it oh, get Oh, uh, if X starts at zero and you bump it, oh. and then check for zero. So, whoops. So here, there's an easy solution to that. Inbox. What? That That's not gonna... No. Wait, if one of them's... Yeah. That's an if negative. Oh, well, oh, the, yes. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was saying. <laughs> if zero... And we go right to the outbox and try again. But wait, um... Oh, wait, no, wait. It has to be the second one? No. There's an easier solution to this. What? Wait. Well, because... Okay, <laughs> so it's... Because, okay, here's one thing you could do. Hmm. You could check if either of them are zero. Right. But you need to know which one is zero. Right. If the first, like, because you don't want to immediately cut it short. Right, right. Right? Because it's pairs. Yeah. Or you could just have it increment right. What do you mean increment right? So, um, you are starting it out at times one. Yes. Which means zero won't work within your system. Right. You do have the tools to start it out at time zero, and then increment from there. Uh, that's true. <laughs> oh, hold on. So when you're copying to Z, mm -hmm. um, uh, you could copy a zero to that instead of Y. Oh yeah. Because you have a zero. We already have a copy two there. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then you don't want to immediately bump X either. Because if X is zero, then you can enter that fail state. That is true. So. So wait, so copy to Z. And then. So wait, I want to bump X elsewhere then. Let's bump X. Well, I think you want to copy from X first. Like, replace that bump X. Move the bump up to where you're moving it. That's fine. Okay. But you also want to copy from X at the top. Like, you don't need to do it every jump, but you need to do it at the beginning. Like, right under your copy to Z, copy from X. And then that jump zero will go off if it starts at zero. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. All right. Every time it's a, it's a big number multiplication, I get worried. <laughs> Just like, what if he misses one? What if my little dude is stupid? Yeah. What if I got trapped in an infinite loop again? There. And I think it's actually probably faster speed-wise to just handle the edge cases. Like, hey, just handle the zeros manually. But, well. There's probably a way to write that out. That's a far number of commands. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Bye. Bye.